Multiplication obviously shows up in lots of places in the real world. In other words, multipl multiplication can be applied to the real world. So we often call this sort of thing an application problem. So here's a simple example. The key here is recognizing that multiplication is what we need to use, not addition or subtraction or something else. So let's look at this example. Suppose we own a car rental company. We have 47 cars in the lot and we need to put 14 gallons of gas in each car. How much gas will we need? Well, we need 14 gallons in the first one, 14 gallons in the second one, 14 gallons in the third one, so on, for all 47 cars. And you should see that instead of adding 14 and 14 and 14 and 14, so on 47 times, we can just multiply the 14 and the 47. So I'll write 47 times 14, and I'll do the multiplication. 7 times 4 is 28. And 4 times 4 is 16, plus that 2 is 18. And then I put a 0, and then the 1 is easy. I just have a 7 and a 4. And then I add. I get an 8 there. 8 plus 7 is 15, and I have 6. So my answer is 658. And it's a good idea to write your unit on your answer, 658 gallons.